Could everything we know about the universe be wrong? A discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope has ignited a cosmic revolution. What it saw wasn't just strained, it was impossible. Galaxies too big, too bright, too early, light breaking through a fog that should have still been opaque, and maybe, just maybe, whispers from a universe that existed before our own. This isn't science fiction. It's what some of the world's leading physicists are now seriously considering. One of them is Sir Roger Penrose, a Nobel Prize-winning mathematician and physicist with a radical theory the universe didn't begin with a bang. It began with a memory. According to Penrose, the cosmos doesn't just begin and end. It cycles endlessly. Each universe grows, decays, and gives birth to the next in a grand cosmic loop. And now, with data streaming from the James Webb Space Telescope, this once fringe idea is starting to gain traction. Let's take a journey across space, and possibly through time itself, to see why. When Webb aimed its 21-foot mirror near the Big Dipper, it saw ancient light faint glimmers from over 13 billion years ago. These weren't just dim sparks from tiny baby galaxies. No, these were colossal structures already the size of the Milky Way, just 500 million years after the supposed Big Bang. That shouldn't be possible. At that age, there simply shouldn't have been enough time or matter to build such giants. And yet they exist. Astronomers have nicknamed them Universe Breakers because they're breaking everything we thought we understood. But Webb didn't stop there. It kept scanning deeper. And what it revealed next shattered another foundational pillar of cosmology, the expansion of the universe. For decades, astronomers have relied on a value called the Hubble constant to calculate how fast the universe is growing. But there's a glaring problem. Every way we measure it gives a different answer. Predictions from the early universe give one number, Measurements from the nearby universe give another. Now, Webb's ultra-precise observations confirm the discrepancy and deepen the mystery. Something doesn't add up. Uh, some scientists think they know why. What if the universe isn't expanding on its own? What if it's merging with others? This is where things get truly mind-bending. New models suggest our universe may be one bubble among countless others in a vast multiversal ocean. And that early inflation, the lightning-fast expansion right after the Big Bang, may have been triggered by a collision or absorption with a larger cosmic domain. Think about it. What we see as our universe could just be a piece, an expanding ripple within a much larger cosmic fabric. And Webb's observations may be the first real clues of this cosmic entanglement. But it's not just massive galaxies and expansion rates that are raising eyebrows. Let's talk about light, specifically the first light. Astronomers have long believed that the early universe was cloaked in thick hydrogen gas that absorbed ultraviolet light. Only when the first stars formed and began ionizing, this gas did light finally break through, an era we call reionization. According to theory, this happened around 300 million years after the Big Bang. But then Webb spotted something jaw-dropping, a galaxy called Jade's GS Z11, glowing brightly just 330 million years after the Big Bang. And not just glowing, it was flooding space with intense UV radiation. It even displayed a telltale signature, known as Lyman Alpha Radiation, a kind of cosmic fingerprint that shouldn't have been visible yet. Why? Because the hydrogen fog should still have been blocking it. Yet, this galaxy was already carving out a massive bubble, 650,000 light-years wide of cleared, ionized space that's almost three times the size of the Milky Way. Somehow, it was punching a hole through the early universe. So how? Was it powered by an ultra-hot, ultra-bright wave of newborn stars? Or something even stranger? A black hole, perhaps, burning furiously at its center? Whatever the answer, this discovery hints that reionization happened faster, or earlier, or in ways we never imagined. And maybe this isn't an isolated case. Maybe galaxies like these were the rule, not the exception. Maybe our early universe lit up far faster than our models predict. And that brings us back to Roger Penrose. He believes these mysteries aren't signs of chaos, but of memory. A memory passed from universe to universe. His theory, called conformal cyclic cosmology, suggests that each cosmic cycle ends not with a bang, but with a fade. Everything decays, even black holes. And as they vanish, they release something called Hawking radiation, a final breath of energy that seeps into the next universe. Penrose believes this energy leaves behind visible fingerprints. He calls them Hawking points. Where? In the cosmic microwave background, the ancient light still echoing from just after the Big Bang. Penrose's team claims to have found strange. Circular patterns in this afterglow glowing disks, about the size of the full moon, 
that may be the last echoes of black holes from a universe before ours. It's bold. It's controversial. Many scientists remain skeptical. But then again, so were most physicists when black holes were first proposed. Now, we take them for granted. So what if Penrose is right again? The James Webb Space Telescope is doing more than taking pictures. It's holding up a mirror to the universe and showing us a reflection we barely recognize. A cosmos that's older, stranger, and maybe more eternal than we ever imagined. And perhaps the greatest discovery of all is that we're still just beginning to ask the right questions. So stay curious, stay bold, and stay tuned, because the universe has only just started telling its story.